Patterns and warning signs further stain the Parkland, Florida shooting massacre. The unseen casualty in the Florida murders and the fatal school shooting at Great Mills High School in St. Mary's County is that students everywhere no longer feel safe in the classroom. I asked them one question, do you feel safe in school? And they said no. You're watching legislative sausage being made. The Ways and Means Committee tweaking the governor's Safe Schools Act. It requires schools to develop an emergency plan. They will have to ensure school safety personnel is properly equipped and trained. School systems must designate a state certified security administrator to oversee the plan. It requires creating a multidiscipline threat assessment team. It also mandates that schools either have resource officers or adequate law enforcement coverage. Committee members expressed a number of concerns. If we're requiring the public schools to do this, we should be requiring these private schools to do this too, if they're going to receive any grants. What this amendment does is to just track on um, use of force by law enforcement, by resource, school resource officers on a student in our schools. The bill provides $2.5 million for evaluating safety needs, $2.5 million to develop emergency plans. 10 million each year for school resource officers or to coordinate with local law enforcement. The bill provides 12 million dollars for safety enhancements. Crash bash earlier today. Several committee members unsuccessfully tried to divert 20 percent of that 10 million in SRO funding for behavioral health programs. A safe school is not simply a school where there are police officers and where and where the school feels like a jail. We want it to feel like a community where people can learn. But they voted unanimously to send the measure to the House floor. I think it's great work product from everybody that's worked on it in both parties, both sides of the street. The bill is considered only the beginning. Legislators acknowledge a wide range of concerns still need to be addressed. And pledges are already being made to start next session building on the School Safety Initiative Foundation. In Annapolis, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.